You know what, for a lot of these videos I put out, particularly the ones on more technical tunes, I'm learning as much to challenge myself as I am to share with you lot what I learn in the process. But for the last video I put out, which was about Marcus Gilmore playing Action Speak with VJ Aya Trio, I made a mistake, mate. I'm sorry. So if we have a look at the original notation that I wrote out for the lesson, you'll see that I've left an eighth note rest in between our bass drum and hi-hat and the last two snare drums of the bar, but actually there should have only been space for a 16th note. Now it might sound like it's not too big of a deal, but actually that one 16th note different actually changes the time signature. So I thought it was in 3-4 time. The tune you just heard is in 3-4 time and I don't think it's played to a metronome. It's not in 3-4 time, man. It's got one less 16th note. It's in 11-16. So a massive shout out to Anton Nemahai and George Bird because firstly, they both spotted the mistake and let me know down in the comments. And secondly, they're both absolutely legends about it. And actually, it turned into a discussion and I found it really interesting and I learned something from it. I've had a chance to speak to those dudes this week and they're both killing drummers. So I'll leave a link to their Instagram accounts down in the video description if you wanna go and check that out. As far as I'm concerned, there's only two options here. The first option is I crawl up in the fetal position and cry myself to sleep. <laughs> The second option is that I remake the video, learn from the mistake, improve as a drummer, and hopefully improve as a drum teacher in the process. Let's check out a video of them playing the tune live, and then we'll have a chat about it. Yes, yes. I'm Alex, and thanks for checking out another video. If you're enjoying the lessons, don't forget to like and subscribe. It's the best way to support the channel. Let's do it properly this time. So the tune you just heard is an 11-16 time. 1E e and a 2E e and a 3E e and 1E e and a 2E e and a 3E e and 1. And I tapped it out at about 153 BPM. So I've written out four different variations of grooves that Marcus Gilmore plays throughout the track. So the first exercise on your sheet is going to be our main groove, the groove that everything else is based around. So we're gonna play our hi-hat on one E, a two, and a. You could think of this as groups of three, but we're missing out the third 16th note every time. We play our bass drum on one, one and, and then the a uh of beat two. These will be played with your hi-hat, in between your hi-hat, and then with your hi-hat again. And then we're gonna play our snare drum on beat two, the E of beat two, and then the last two 16th notes of the bar, E and. These will be played with your hi-hat, in between your hi-hat, and then of course, the last two snare drums are by themselves. It's quite a tricky groove, so take your time while you're pushing up your tempo. And what I'm gonna do is rather than playing along with a metronome, I've looped around the intro section of the track where VJ Iyer is playing the piano part solo, just to give it a bit more context and keep it interesting. Let's give it a go. For our second variation, we're gonna be opening the hi-hat on the and of beat two. This will mean that you're opening your hi-hat and then closing it at the same time as playing your bass drum. To give it a bit more context, what we'll do is we'll play it every other bar. The first bar, no open hi-hat, and then we'll open it up in the second. For our third variation, all we're gonna do is move our right stick from the hi-hat over to the ride cymbal. Let's get straight to it. So at the end of our bar, we've got these two snare drums that are played by themselves. So all we're gonna do is turn those two 16th notes into four 32nd notes. It's just a cheeky double stroke roll. Let's give it a go. Again, we'll play it every other bar. As I remade this video, I thought I'd challenge myself and push it one step further and see if I can freely improvise over this 1116 groove. So I started off by playing some of the grooves that we looked at today, and then I thought I'd see if I could start to incorporate some of my own phrasing and keep track of the bar line. This is a lot choppier than a lot of the improvisations that I include in these videos, but I was getting into the zone, mate, and just having some fun. So check it out, see if you can come up with your own too.
There we go, mate. Marcus Gilmore is absolutely next level on the kit. So make sure that you listen to the whole track. See if you can pick out some of the other phrases. Experiment with it. See if you can make it your own. If you do go and learn any of the grooves that we looked at today and you upload a video of you playing them, tag me up, mate, because I'd absolutely love to see it. And if you're digging the videos, hit the button to join the Wednesday crew, man. I'll catch you in the next lesson.